For this project, you will need one fat quarter, wadding slightly smaller, and a selection of scraps. We are using Free Spirit Design Rolls. Place your fat quarter right side down in front of you. Add your wadding centered on top of your fat quarter. Taking your first strip, position it right side up diagonally across the center. With right sides together, place your second strip aligning your edge. Pin through all layers holding it all in place. Starting in the upper right edge, position your presser foot and so removing your pins as you go. When quilting, it's best to use a general purpose thread like Coates Dual Duty XP. Open your fabric so right sides are face up. Repeating the same process by placing your next fabric along the right edge. Pinning and sewing. Work your way to one corner. Rotate 180 degrees. Place your next strip on the open end of the starting strip. Continue attaching your strips to the end. With the top right side up, you can sew additional quilting to add more visual interest. When sewing through thick layers, it's best to use an optional walking foot. Some machines, like ours, come with a walking foot built in. The walking foot will help feed your layers evenly under the presser foot. Consult your sewing machine manual or a sewing machine retailer. Square off one long edge.
placing your ruler along your iPad, measure adding approximately a quarter of an inch to three eighths of an inch on each side. Using the cut edge, trim a 90 degree corner cutting off one short side. Position the ruler the measured distance on the second long side, confirming with the iPad. Trim away the excess. Place your iPad in the center, folding the left edge up and over. Fold the right side overlapping the fabric. This is where we will trim the final side, creating an even overlap. Take your folded over binding and attach the raw edges to one side of your quilted case. Fold over your binding pinning in place. Sew down through your binding, removing the pins as you go. Trim off the ends. With another piece of folded binding, align the raw edges, pinning along the three sides mitering corners as needed. Start at one side, stitching down, back stitching over the pockets on both sides. Mitering a corner makes a smooth, tidy finish to a 90 degree corner, neatly squaring the corners while creating a diagonal seam from the point of the corner to the inside edge. Mitering is used for quilting corners, craft projects, some vests and jackets, and sometimes on collars. To learn more about mitering a corner, watch our binding and finishing tutorial. Trim the ends one inch from the cover. Fold down a corner, 
then take that binding and fold it over. Turn your piece over, take a corner and fold it around the bottom edge. Take your binding and fold it up and over covering your stitches. Pin around the entire cover. Starting at the end, sew, removing the pins.